Today I'm at Ferrari Maserati of Long Island to check out a stunning Ferrari 488 Pista Spider painted in Rosso, California, as well as a few other cars. So let's go check them out. Outside we've got this big, bold, and beautiful Bentley Mulsanne in like a solid gray color. This car is so beautiful. That's one of the two Lizard Green GT3 RSs they're shipping to other states. One of them is going to California and the other one is going to Texas, so pretty far away from New York. This here is what we're going to be checking out today, the 2020 Ferrari 488 Pista Spider. As a hardcore version of the regular 488 Spider, the 488 Pista Spider is one of the quickest cars to ever come out of Marinello, thanks to a 710 horsepower twin turbo V8, a fast shifting dual clutch transmission, and a launch control system, it can out drag almost anything else on four wheels. And being a spider, you get all the enjoyment of top down driving, like the wind in your hair and sunshine on your skin. Believe it or not, this is actually the 50th open top model produced by Ferrari. With a record power to weight ratio of 4.2 pounds per horsepower, the Pista Spider is a really impressive supercar. So like I mentioned, the Pista Spider has a race-derived 3.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine that makes 710 horsepower, that's 49 horsepower more than the 488 Spider, and 568 pound-feet of torque. Ferrari has claimed a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 2.9 seconds, which is the tenth of a second quicker than the 488 Spider. 0 to 124 miles per hour comes in just eight seconds and the top speed is 211 miles per hour. If those stats weren't impressive enough, braking from 62 miles per hour to zero miles per hour takes just 96.8 feet with the Pista Spider. Being a hardcore track focused vehicle, the Pista Spider isn't for everyone. I'm sure there are some people out there that prefer the 488 Spider, but if you like hardcore and loud supercars, this is definitely for you because in this car the sound level is higher than the 488 Spider in all gears and at all engine speeds. In regards to aerodynamics, the Pista Spider has an F1 derived solution the S-duct. So the air from the intake on the front bumper passes through an aerodynamic duct with calibrated sections and exits through a vent on the bonnet, creating downforce over the front axle. So here is the vent on the front bonnet. So air comes in through the front here and then gets pushed up and out of this vent right here and travels over the car to keep the car planted and create downforce. The S-duct is honestly probably my favorite part about this car. It just makes the Pista look so distinctive and so much more different than the 458 Speciale, which was this car's predecessor. I mean, when you see that hood, you know right away that it's a Pista. I love it. Compared to the 488 Spider, the 488 Pista Spider's spoiler is 1.1 inches higher and 1.5 inches longer. As you can see here, as Ferrari puts it, air bleeds under the spoiler. So if I get closer, you can see this opening right here. So the air travels over the top of the car and then gets pushed underneath that spoiler and comes out the back. This is something I honestly didn't notice until maybe my third or fourth Pista I saw in person. I just love looking at the aerodynamics of this car. They just work it in so well because you guys know Ferrari would never put a massive rear wing on one of their production supercars, just the race cars. As in the 488 GTB, the diffuser is equipped with a system of three active flaps which rotate 14 degrees in minimum drag configuration to completely stall the diffuser and thus significantly reduce the car's drag. So that was a great piece of technology in the 488 GTB and it's great to see it here in the 488 Pista. It's kind of hard to see from this angle but this here is one of the active flaps. It looks like the other active flap is in the middle right there underneath the fog lamp 
and then this is the third active flap on the left side. So although you can't see it right now, those three flaps come down to reduce drag when needed. This car actually has a 20% improvement in aerodynamic efficiency over a regular 488 Spider, courtesy of the new active aero under the rear of the car and the latest development of the 488's blown rear spoiler, which we discussed. As with the coupe, the Spider's radiators have also been repositioned to improve cooling efficiency and reduce drag, resulting in a 25% increase in their cooling abilities. As for the hot air generated, that's disposed off in a downward direction to create a virtual fairing ahead of the front wheels, which you can see right here, further reducing drag. On the rear quarter of the car, you have these air intakes, and behind the rear wheels, you can see where the air is vented out of the back of the car. So this opening here helps to relieve pressure from the wheel wells. The piece to spike marks the debut of the Ferrari Dynamic Enhancer, which is a new lateral dynamics control which makes on-the-limit driving more intuitive, controllable, and predictable. So as you can tell by now, the Pista Spider is full of innovative technology. There are several driving modes available via the Manatino dial on the steering wheel, with Sport being the default setting. Ceramic brakes and Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s are also standard, as well as recalibrated at active dampers and 10% stiffer springs. This car has a curb weight of 3,274 pounds. This makes it about 110 pounds heavier than the Pista Coupe, and compared to the 488 Spider, the Pista Spider is 88 pounds lighter. I haven't been for a ride in a Pista Spider, but I've been for a ride in a Pista Coupe, and it was such a fun experience. This car is seriously so planted to the ground, so stable, and so fast. And according to Ferrari, the Pista Spider loses none of the Coupe's performance or agility, and you get to put the top down, so that's pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at all the places that this car has exposed carbon fiber. So starting at the front, you have it here, and then you also have it kind of on the front side here, and then you also have it over here and over here. The side skirts are not exposed carbon fiber, unfortunately. Neither is this piece right here. And shockingly, neither are these pieces near the taillights or the rear diffuser. So this is pretty lightly specced in terms of carbon fiber. Also, no carbon fiber here. We see on a lot of pieces in my vlogs that they have carbon right here running from taillight to taillight, and usually the diffusers are carbon fiber as well, but here there's no carbon at either spot. There's also no carbon fiber here, so basically the exposed carbon fiber is just at the front. So even though this car barely has exposed carbon, it has quite a few other options, including blue brake calipers, which are a $1,519 option. It also has blue seat belts, which is a $979 option. We'll check those out shortly. It has the suspension lifter, which is a $6,243 option. The horse stitched on headrest, which is a $1,266 option. Titanium exhaust pipes, which is a $2,531 option. And as you can see, this exhaust is not stock. It is a rift exhaust, and how good does that exposed carbon look on the exhaust tips? I haven't heard this car yet, but apparently it's really, really loud. The front and rear parking cameras are a $7,593 option. The extended racing livery is a $15,187 option. Seagulls have a lot to say. These 20 inch forged wheels are a $5,400 option, and this piece to spider has a lot of other options, including a lot of options on the interior that we'll check out shortly once we open it up. That's my friend leaving in his 360 Spider. You can kind of hear it even though he's far away. 
Man, that sounds amazing. Blue Posse with a tan interior, challenge wheels, Scuderia shields, amazing spec. And he's so happy with it. I love to see owners happy with their purchase. So when this car was new, it had a base price of $384,000, which was about a hundred grand more than the 488 Spider's base price. But this one has quite a few options on it. And with 4,400 miles on the clock, they're asking $670,000 for it here at Ferrari of Long Island. The biggest reason why I wanted to film a video with this car is because of the spec. It is just drop dead gorgeous. So this car is painted in Rosso, California with a narrow interior. Rosso, California was created to celebrate the innate elegance of the Ferrari California from many years ago. So the color features a rich red hue, which you can see perfectly with the way the sun is positioned in the sky right now with iridescent undertones that make it the perfect choice for a coastal lifestyle, at least according to Ferrari. Ferrari says it's a red that encapsulates true coastal sensations. I say it's just a pretty damn beautiful red. I mean, just look at it. Look at how it shimmers and shines in the sun. It's so deep. And it's quite a bit darker than Rosso Corso, which we're so used to seeing on Ferraris, new and old. I'm just so glad that this one is painted in Rosso, California. It's actually my first time seeing this color. I didn't even really know about it until this Pista arrived at the dealership. So yeah, this is a Ferrari California color on a Pista Spider, a car that's worth so much more money than a California. And it's so beautifully paired with a metallic blue stripe it looks like blue nart nart standing for north american racing team i love blue nart and i love seeing ferraris fully covered in blue nart not just the stripe the white details are nice as well this spec is just perfect i want to know your guys's thoughts on this spec now that i have the key which by the way is pretty beautiful let's take a look at the interior So because this is a track-focused supercar, they made sure to save weight by using carbon fiber and Alcantara in the interior. You've got exposed carbon fiber door sills, a leather steering wheel with exposed carbon fiber on it, and Alcantara pretty much everywhere else. So you've got Alcantara on these carbon fiber racing seats and Alcantara on the upper and lower dash. So the only place with leather is the steering wheel. To save weight, you have these Alcantara pull straps instead of a proper door handle. And to open the door, you just lift this up. Ferrari must care about practicality because you have this little storage net on the door. So these are the blue seat belts I mentioned earlier. They look really good and I love them because they perfectly tie in with the blue brake calipers and the blue stripe. So not only are the colored seat belts a cost option, but so are the horses on the headrests. Believe it or not, Ferrari charges you to lift your racing seat. As you can see by this little handle right here, that's a $2,531 option. This car comes standard with tech amenities such as an integrated navigation system and a six speaker audio system. All 488 models are equipped with Bluetooth phone and streaming audio. Apple CarPlay integration is offered, but Android Auto is not. So right now I'm sitting inside the Pista Spider. What a great feeling. I love this supercar. And I love this white and blue stripe on the top of the steering wheel right near the LED shift lights. It sounds like a car started. driving by. I didn't even realize that was behind us. And there's one in front of us too. That's funny because like I mentioned this color was on the Ferrari California when it was introduced. But as I was saying I love how they took a piece of the exterior and put it on the interior. Just the simple white and blue stripe. It's beautiful. And I love all this exposed carbon fiber. It really makes you feel like you're in a high dollar value supercar, which this is. You've got the Manitino dial right here currently set to race mode. Sport is default and then you also have wet mode, CT off, and ESC off. You only put it to that if you really know what you're doing. On this side you've got the engine start stop button, your bumpy mode road button, your brights, 
your turn signal indicators, and your windshield wipers. So pretty much everything you need is on the steering wheel. And then you have these really large carbon fiber paddle shifters. They sound awesome and they're huge. I mean, you could reach them up here in the middle down here. You definitely can't miss those. You've got your horn right here, your climate control settings right here, and some buttons for launch control, auto and reverse so you got this nice little f1 bridge as they call it then you've got your hazard lights button your window switches so most cars have window switches on the doors but in the pista you have it in the middle and then behind that you have this right here which lowers the rear glass it's hard to see because the sun is pouring in but you can lower that rear glass with the top up and then of course you have the switch to put the top down or up. You've got a USB port right there and some storage. And actually a cup holder right there. So don't say Ferraris aren't practical because clearly they are. Between the cup holders, the little amounts of storage, and these nets on the door, they're pretty practical. Something I just noticed that's really interesting, the driver's door has a pull strap but the passenger door has a full-on door handle made of carbon fiber. That's interesting. Got to move up the racing seat because I'm short. Okay. front we have the brand new Maserati MC20 over 600 horsepower it's a pretty small car so that means it probably drives like a go-kart super fun super lightweight pretty small and beautiful I'm definitely gonna film a video with one of these soon I just have to find one that's like for sale or I guess a customer car where the customer doesn't mind me filming it this one's actually painted in Bianco Audace I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's spelled A-U-D-A-C-E. It's like a matte pearl white with bluish hues in it. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially in the sun. We have a little bit of sunlight shining on it here. I mean, it's pretty hard to see. But actually, no, I, I think you can see the light blue hue. I mean, it's probably harder to see on camera. But yeah, this car is all the rave nowadays. I personally like it. I know some people hate it and some people are indifferent, but you'll learn all about it in my YouTube video coming soon. So that was my visit to Ferrari Maserati of Long Island. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.